Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this work and sincerely seeking the truth. The title of this lesson would be So many camps out there, but the most I would direct is elect in choosing. So I'd like to start reading from the book of John chapter 10 verse 27, which is a very famous verse, which everyone should know, which quotes, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Okay. So as we can see, there are lots of camps out there, different camps out there, you know, many are teaching, you know, more or less the same doctrine, but most are teaching different doctrines. Okay, so at the beginning, at the beginning stage, when people start seeking the truth and start understanding about this Hebrew Israelite thing, you know, so... Yeah, I'm just speaking out of experience, you know, you get, you start seeing different camps popping out, you know, just like my, my brother here, um, the speckled bed, um, you know, when he started like getting to know the truth, just like me, you know, so anytime he goes on YouTube, he starts seeing different, you know, different camps, different Hebrew Israelite groups, you know, popping out and, you know. So most of the time we watch these different groups, like I've watched different, I've listened to the, to the sermon of different, to the teachings of different Hebrew Israelite groups, different camps, you know, so, you know, but you know, there is just something, um, there is just something that kind of like obstructs my spirit, you know, if it's the right word, and um, there is something that doesn't, you know, give me that full, um, um, well, I'm trying to look for the word, um, that full conviction, you know, I don't get convinced so easily about this, this teaching. And, you know, I was just speaking to my, to my brother right here and, you know, he told me the same thing happened to him, you know. So there is something that doesn't really connect, you know. That's because, um, as we can read from this verse, you know, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So, you know, we... The we the house of Israel with the sheep of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But I believe this sheep right here, it's actually means it's elect, you know. So they hear his voice, and he knows us, and we follow him. Okay, so you know I'm just saying from this point of view, I'm still hoping I'm I'm not saying that I am hundred percent an elect. Of Israel, these are decisions that are going to be taken by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All I can do is hope, you know, like the Apostle Paul said, I'm a prisoner of hope. So I am actually a prisoner of hope, and I'm hoping the Most High counts me worthy of being part of His elect, which is going to be the greatest, my greatest achievement in my whole, my entire, entire, you know, existence. So the elect of Israel. You know, they they are familiar with this voice. You know, they are familiar already with this voice. That is, if you if we start looking at the point from the point of view of reincarnation, which we of the Great Millstone we we believe in reincarnation, and which is all over the scriptures. But the most I really needs to open your eyes in order for you to understand this. At the end of the day, it's not really difficult to understand. But if you have a sincere mind. Seeking the truth, you will get this truth on percent. So, you know, we are actually familiar to this voice, you know, just like we have the book in um in the book of um Revelation. Um right now I can't remember the chapter that, that says, you know, he who's um those who are filthy remain filthy and I'm just paraphrasing, you know, those who are who are saints remain saints, those who are holy remain holy. And so, you know, we've lived before and we we still actually carry the same spirit we used to have in our pre in, in the lives we lived before. So those of us who are familiar with this truth, you know, no matter what we go through in this 
this modern kingdom ruled by Esau, no matter what we go through, we still get in contact with this truth. And whenever we listen to this truth, we know we, we can we get that feeling, we get that vibration, you know, that this is the truth. Just like the apostles were teaching yesterday, you know. And yeah, I'm doing this video because I was inspired by watching their video, which the Apostle Gabba was saying we should, you know, we of the GMS Italia and you know other groups from the European countries, we should try to translate our teachings in other languages, you know. So I'm just inspired to do this teaching in English. So, you know, the Apostle Gabba, the Apostle Taha, they were actually, and Apostle Aramla, they were speaking and saying, you know, this truth is like a, a rhythm. It's a song. Yes, it's a song, you know, just like the songs of Solomon. You know, so this is actually a song and it becomes a song to those who who sincerely seek it, you know, and it has a kind of rhythm, you know. So we been in this world before and being part of this truth, knowing this truth, we're already familiar with this rhythm, with this tune, you know. So when we start saying different camps coming with different doctrines, different teachings, you know, we don't easily get and tuned into their music because um, there is something always wrong with that tune that they play to us. You know, it's like the apostles were saying yesterday, um, if you're playing some chords and you, 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 you mistake a note, you know, people will just look at you and, you know, people can easily note that something is wrong with what you're playing. So this is exactly what's happening, you know. So... Let's keep reading. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Why is Yahweh Shai saying that neither any man pluck them out of my hand? He's actually talking about this different, you know, different Hebrew Israelite camps and groups out there, you know, who are teaching, you know, the wrong doctrine, you know, no matter how they try, you know. The elect of the Most High can't fall into their hands, you know. But some elect might fall into their hands for the begin for at the beginning, but later they would definitely find out that you know there is something wrong with this tune coming from this camp, you know, and they would change and come and join the great millstone. Okay, so let me keep reading. My Father, which give them me, is greater than all them than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. So you can see Yahweh Shai keeps, you know, he keeps coming back again and saying, no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand, you know. So this is actually like explaining and helping us understand like the, the, the wheat and the tares, you know, that are planted amongst the seeds of Israel, you know. So this, this tawny, these tawny plants, they try to choke the truth out of, Israel. So what it's actually explaining is, you know, I at, at least the way I see it, you know, there's different camps, you know, they can't, they can't, they can't have the real elect with them, you know. So this is also for those who are actually truly seeking the truth, you know, the 100% truth is only found in the great millstone. Okay, so let me read from another book, which is always the book of John, you know, but I'll read from John 15, 26. Which says, But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. So to most of us, for example, that we are not in the United States, you know, we don't we don't physically know this apostles and elders and we don't physically, you know, attend any camps there. You know, I'm talking from my own point of view. We just get this feeling, you know, after, you know, seeing different camps and, you know, listening to different camps. Um, we just get that feeling, you know, the spirit, you know, testifies to us that, um, 
The teachings of the Great Millstone is the 100% truth. That's why we don't easily fall for, for the rest of the other camps. That's why you don't see the other camps, you know, have you know, um, um, international countries, you know, following them. Like, for example, you don't see the I ICUIC, I don't know how you pronounce that, you know, the Israel United, whatever. Um, you don't see them have other camps in places like Italy, Germany, in the Netherlands, you know. So you don't see um, the general Johanna having, you know, followers from, from Italy, from, from France, from, um, from Germany and other countries like that. But it happens only at the Great Millstone. And this is because, you know, those who are part of the elect of the House of Israel, you know, the elect of the Most High, they are already familiar with this tune, Okay. So when they listen to the different tunes coming from different camps, you know, they can easily feel the vibration that comes, you know, from the great millstone. And you see, as it's written here, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the father shall testify of me. Okay. And ye also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. So this is what I'm saying. We've been We've been with the Father from the beginning, okay? We were once familiar to this tune, okay? So whenever we hear this tune, the Spirit testifies and it gives us a sort of comfort, confirmation, and it unlocks all our doubts and brings us closer to the Father, you know, accepting, you know, the truth and doctrine we learn from the apostles and elders and the teachers, the great young men out there of the great millstone, so this is the difference between the Great Millstone and the rest of the other camps, you know, because there are lots of camps, you know, um, even here in Italy, I was speaking with my brother and it was like, you know, I listened to the vocal Milan and, you know, stuff like that, just do them, whatever they teach, you know, but you don't, you feel these people, they don't, they don't have that spirit, you know, you don't, they don't have that spirit because the Most High has set a Mac on all of us who are part of his elect, those who are going to come to this truth. The Most High has set a, a, a mark on us, you know, and we have a kind of vibration that we go with. So whatever you bring in, if it doesn't have the vibration of the truth, you know, man, you can just throw it into the garbage because we're not going to follow you. That's why, you know, other camps, they can have, you know, they can have people following them from different other countries because we people, you know, right here, you know, I can just tell you from my own point of view, the Most High has given us a kind of spirit, you know. We, we can discern what the truth is, okay. And those people that follow, you know, this, that, that blindly follow these camps that teach, you know, these crazy doctrines, you know. The real people, you know, they don't have light in them. They have darkness in them, you know. They are not sincerely seeking for the truth, and for those brothers who are sincerely seeking for the truth, you know, the most I would definitely direct you to the truth. And no matter how many doctrines, no matter how many things you've gone through, you would be able to discern which is the truth and follow the truth. Which the 100% truth, I'll repeat again, is found only at the Great Millstone. Okay. I wasn't paid anything to do this video. I wasn't paid anything to do this teaching, you know. I don't even know the apostles, you know, personally, you know, we never spoke man to man, you know, maybe sometimes I comment on their, on their teachings and they reply back, you know, that's all. But what we can feel is the energy that comes from these men, you know, we can feel the vibration that comes from these men, okay, which goes back to the music, you know, it's a rhythm we, we, we're familiar with, you know, because we have been with the father from the beginning okay we shall bear witness when we when we when we get this truth just like what we what we read earlier you know my sheep they hear my voice they, and they follow me you know they shall be given the truth and no man can pluck them from the hands of the most high so in other words no camps no other doctrine can pluck them out from the truth from the way of the truth okay so let me read from the book of romans Pardon me. From the book of Romans. Chapter 8. 
verse 16. Go. Which quotes? The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. Okay. So this is exactly what I was just saying, you know. We are the children of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. We, we are familiar with this tune. Okay. We are familiar with this truth. So when we come in contact with this truth, we know it. We feel it. You know. If anybody is coming and teaching us stuff that, you know, we, we have we've not, been, we've not been familiar to from the beginning. Because we were with the Father at the beginning. And we've already, ex we've already lived in this world years ago. Okay, and we had a certain way of living. We knew the truth, you know, we passed away and we came back again. Okay, so we have, we, we are familiar to this truth, you know. There is a certain kind of vibration we carry with ourselves. So when you come with this, you know, uh, with these um, weak, weak doctrines, these philosophies of men, you know, we can easily tell when a camp is paid off. Okay, what about that? We can easily tell when a camp is paid off. We can easily feel the vibration coming from these teachers of these camps if they are telling the lies. And I believe this is the same thing that's happening to my brothers, you know, spread around the four corners of the earth. You know, the brothers in, in Holland, brothers in Germany, the brother in Tanzania, the brother in Nigeria, the brothers in the UK. You know, this is the same spirit that moves with us, you know. When we come in contact with the truth, we know the truth. We feel, we feel this is the truth, you know. We don't, we don't get too compelled in accepting this truth, you know. So we are not faking it, you know. It's a vibration. It's a song we are, we are familiar to, okay. So I wouldn't keep this lesson too long. I'll just quote from one last famous book, which is Jeremiah 1.5. So as you can see, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou com camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay. So this is what it is, you know. The Most High has already ordained us to accept this truth. The Most High has already prepared the day, the time, the minute, the hour. The moment we are going to come in contact with the truth, and when we when we hear the truth, our spirit is just going to connect to it, you know. So this is it, you know. The most high as, you know, we believe, we 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 at least we the brothers of Great Millstone of Italy. We are not really much, but we're just four of us. Okay, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing, we can grow much more in number. But we know there are lots of people watching our videos already, you know, and who are also accepting the truth, who believe the truth. But maybe they just be, they just want to remain on the low, you know, and it's fine. But as long as the truth is working in them, you know, so on that day, we're going to really be surprised. You know, um, we'll see lots of people coming out, you know, knowing this truth, you know, saying, oh, I learned this truth from the elders of Great Millstone, you know. From the brothers of Great Millstone, from the teachers of Great Millstone, we learned this truth, you know, we'll be surprised. People we never, we never even thought are going to listen to this truth, you know, because we carry a certain type of vibration, you know. Before, before we were formed in the belly, the Father knew us, okay. And before, before we came out of the belly, we were sanctified and ordained to be prophets unto the nations, okay. Who are the prophets? Who are the saints? These are the sons of Israel, you know, sons of Jacob, the sons of Yasharala, okay? So this is just a quick lesson. I just felt I should, ju I should just do this lesson in, in English. I hope um, this message is going to edify someone today. And I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rukah Kudash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and shalom to all the teachers, to the Akiams out there, you know, struggling and walking in this vine. 
to get this truth to the four corners of the earth. Shalom. And my salutation so so to you know to the few aquats who are listening uh, who are you know sincere in seeking this truth. Shalom to the next one.